step by step on how to create your identity and access management user credential for your access key and secret key ID so that you can be able to log in through command line interface and co connect your VS code to AWS. I will show you a very easy step-by-step -step process and also connect your VS code to your AWS so that you can perform any infrastructure as a code provisioning, just like Terraform or Kubernetes on your VS code and also on your CLI. So follow me, stick around and see how it is done. First of all, before you'll be able to perform this, I hope you have AWS Management Console login ID, you'll be able to have the access and also you be you already have VS Code downloaded on your laptop. So right now, let me search the IAM here just with a simple search on the search bar. You click IAM. Uh, it's taking us. So right now, you could see I've already have two users created here. But I will delete one user so that you also see how you can delete a user. You can create any number of users you like or you want. So you go to users on your left side of the navigation bar. Here I already have two users. Here I have Terraform Project 2, which I created two hours ago, and I have Terraform User Project I created some minutes ago. To delete a user is just a simple thing. You click here and you click delete. Then you write the name of the user you want to delete. You follow it here. It's already written. Oops. Terraform user project. And then you delete. Your user is deleted. So the next thing I will do is to create a new user. Here you put a username. I can say Terraform um, projects just like this. Underscore, I can put anything. User one. I'll click next. Here you have to attach policy because if you did not attach policy, that will make the user not to be able to have a wide access. So I'll click here, administrative access, and then click next. Now we review and create. I'm not going to add tag for anything. I'll create user. Now our user is created. So the next thing now is to create the secret key and access key. You click on the same user you created and go to the user dashboard. We could now see the administrative access assigned to the user. And the next thing we have to do is to go to the security credentials to create the access key. So now we have so many use cases for local code and for application running on AWS compute. But here, I will select the command line interface because the access key and secret key I'm creating is to be used on the command line interface of VS Code to connect your AWS and VS Code. After confirming, I'll click Next. And I'll click Create Access Key. Now, this is the access key that I'm already created, and this is the secret access key ID. So the most important thing is to download the CSV file of your access key so that you will not forget your access key. I will do download here and my CSV file is downloaded very easy. Then done. So the next thing I will show right now is how to connect your VS code to your AWS using this secret key and access key. With that, you can provision your AWS with any infrastructure as code resources, either by Terraform or Kubernetes or any other open source 
infrastructure as code that you want. So stick around and see how I will connect your AWS to your VS Code. Thank you. So right now, hopefully, I know you have a VS Code. Once you have a VS Code, you've downloaded your VS Code. What you will do, the first thing is, right now you will see that I've already had a VS Code extension. Let me tell you and show you the ex AWS extension you need. You click on the extension dashboard here, you type AWS. The most important extension you have to install on your VS Code is AWS Toolkit. This AWS Toolkit includes all AWS resources from Code Catalyst, Application Composer, and supports a lot of AWS resources. With this toolkit, you can now connect your IAM credentials to your VS Code. Another AWS extension I also have here is AWS CLI, CLI Configure, but this we are not talking about AWS CLI Configure. We are making use of AWS Toolkit. So install your AWS Toolkit from the extension, VS Code extension. After the installation, you will see it right now, it will come up here. So right now I've already installed it. The next thing you will see, if you don't see the AWS extension here, maybe due to the version of VS Code you're using, definitely you will see these three additional dots that will show you additional views. When you click on it, you will see AWS console, you will see Hashform Terraform, if you also install this Terraform. I can also put it here, maybe for future purposes, you wanna start provisioning Terraform on your AWS. You need to have this Terraform installed and also this HashCorp Terraform, anyone you like. So here, let me continue with the AWS. And the most important thing, before you start provisioning Terraform on your VS Code for your AWS console, you must follow this process. This is the first process you have to do. And the second process is also installing the Terraform extension. So right now, let me configure and connect my AWS with my VS Code using the IAM credential. So right now I'll click here. So here you will see, I already have a profile AWS projects, which I already have connected. Now you will see other AWS resources that is here. Okay, now let me connect my AWS. Right now you can see this is my AWS project. Let me select it. Let me close this. This is my key. Let me select it again. I, because I've already done the first, I will do edit credentials. This is my credentials right now. I've already done with US key one. And I've already done what? Removed this credential here. I can decide to remove it entirely. This is my old credential. Let me remove it entirely. Then you will see it. If I do on this extension, do AWS, do two kits. Um, I will uninstall. I've already uninstalled this. So if I go here, you will not see anything AWS, right? I'll close it. I'll close this config. You will not see anything AWS here on my VS code. I've removed the old AWS IAM credential I have. Now let me do a new one. I will do install, which is installing right now. It is enabled. So the next thing I will do now is to search for it. Now I'll search for it. 
and this is it. And this is my connection. I will make connection, I will do here. I will do add new connection or I will entirely sign out. Let me sign out. So now I've signed out, I don't have any IM credentials. We are starting on a very plain note, like a new person who is connecting a new IM credentials. So let me select this AWS right now. This is my AWS again. For everybody to see, it is still installed. I'll click here. I already have it here. I'll click here. Now let me select a new. Now you could see this is it. Now let me click add new connection. Now you could see add new connections. The next thing you will see is this. Is this. Now store keys for use with the CLI um, tools. For I'll do. Now, I will now save my, decide to put a name, anything I like. Um, this is what I will put. So this is what I downloaded on my Excel sheet, which has my access key and my secret key. Then let me copy my access key. I've copied my access key, go back, paste my access key, I go back. You have to be very careful with the secret key. Let me copy my secret key. I've copied my secret key. Go back and put my secret key. So now let me do connect. Now it is connecting to my IAM. Let me remove this. Now you could see now I've connected my AWS to my VS code. So when I click this and click this, so now my connection is already connected. Now you could see that I'm in us virginia one here this is how you connect it and this is my last connection and this is my first connection right so i'll click this now you can start provisioning anything you want to provision and this is how to connect your aws to your vs code thank you and keep on watching